guys, it's Andy, and I'm here with an update on my game's progress. I'm going to start off with this short time lapse just to kind of show off what I was able to get completed and also to show off my process with how I actually create the keyframes for the sprite sheet. Then I'm going to show off that completed sprite sheet and I'll end with a short demo of how our game is working so far. So let's go ahead and get into that screen recording. So in the screen recording, I'm using an app called Pixaki, P-I-X-A-K-I, and I'm working on building the walking up animation for my character. I decided to duplicate what I had done for the walking down animation and flip it so it is mirrored. I start by adjusting my hair, then I move on to adjusting the shape of the shirt and arms, and I'm adding in some simple shading as I go. Further on, you'll see uh, that I did try to make a duplicate of the walking up keyframe I just completed and mirroring it. However, I realized that the hair wasn't exactly the same, so I ended up having to do some tweaking to get it to match the other keyframes. I had quite a lot of fun with this character and I still don't know what her name is, but I'm really excited with the way that she's looking. I think her animations are looking fantastic. Um, and I, gosh, I'm, I'm so excited to be able to show you the gameplay, but we'll get into that here in just a short few minutes. All right, so here you see, I am putting together those two animations that I just did and just double checking to make sure that it looks okay. Copy and pasting, duplicating, adjusting the shading, again, adjusting the shape of that hair and also the shape of the shirt, because I don't know if you noticed, but it looks a little bit strange when it's duplicated like this, when it's mirrored, it doesn't quite match with the other keyframes. So I decided to uh, go back through, I'm using that onion skin function right now um, to make sure that they're all in the same spot on the canvas. And then also to make sure that the shirt shape matches and that the hair shape matches as she is walking. She ends up having such an adorable little hip swing. And it, it, to be honest, it wasn't intentional, but I loved it. So I left it in because I just, it was so cute. I, I couldn't not. Here we see a short loop of those completed animations. All right, and here is that completed sprite sheet. You can see up here, this is that walking up animation that I just finished. This is that walking down. Here we have the walking right and then walking left. And I think she looks pretty consistent. It's kind of hard to grasp what it looks like when it's all put together from just these stand, uh, these standalone static images. So. I'm going to go ahead and hop into Godot, which is the game engine that's going to be powering this game and kind of give you a preview of what I've got so far. So let's go ahead and hop into that. All right, so here we are in Godot. This is the game engine that I'm using to create the, the game itself. So you can see that we're in the 2D field. I've got my player uh, scene pulled up here, and she's actually made up of just a couple simple components so far. An animated 2D component, and then also a collision shape 2D. This collision shape 2D is gonna be what allows her to be able to actually have her hitbox, right? That That is her hitbox in the game. So this just kind of brings up those animation keyframes, and as you can see, I've got them imported. Um, they all look pretty good. So let me go ahead and just close this real quick. And I'm gonna pull up a quick demo of the current scene so that you can see what I've done. Oh, actually before that, let me show you the script. So this is what I've got so far. Um, very, very simple, not much to it. So essentially um, this is the Godot's built in scripting language. It's a lot, it's pretty similar to uh, programming languages like Python. 
Um, and it's a lot easier to use than C++ or C Sharp. So I decided to try and just give it a try. Here we have uh, the speed of the character, which I think right now might be a little bit too fast. Uh, we're grabbing the size of that game window. This is called um, whenever the game first starts. And here we have the core logic for her movement and for her animation. So this is the guts that power the, the player so far. So let's go back to that 2D screen and go ahead and pull up the current scene. We've got our window and she kind of starts up in the corner, but as you'll see, I've got her animations working properly. She walks down, she walks to the side, she walks up, and this is all using either the arrow keys or uh, the WASD. Uh, but yeah, I'm super excited. We've got, we've got a character who can move around the scene and I think that that is very good progress. So with that being said, that is everything I have for you today. I hope that you found this content entertaining. I hope that you've enjoyed getting a little bit of a preview into what I've got going on so far and stay tuned. I'm going to keep posting these updates both on Wednesdays and on Fridays, just kind of showing off what I've what I've been able to get done so far. So stay tuned and leave a like, comment, subscribe, uh, do all those fun YouTube things. It really helps the algorithm and, and helps my videos get out to other people, uh, which helps our community grow. So once again, with that being said, I am so glad you're here. I'm excited to continue to share this journey with you. We'll see you in the next video.